let's take a look. Um, here's our starting page, so I'm going to close that. And uh, I'll do a file, new project. You can also do new project from that starting page, but I like to bring it up this way. And you see we've got under Visual C Sharp, um, we've got different different applications. Uh, I'm specifically going to go into the Windows Forms application. And um, I'll give it a name. GUI, Graphical User Interface. Example 1. And uh, it gives location um, where it's stored at. So I'm going to click on OK. Create directory for solution, that's fine. I'm going to take a little bit come up here. Okay. Now we got our form here. You see it's got little um, little white squares around there. And if I put my mouse on those, it becomes an arrow, which means I can click and hold down my left mouse button and I can resize the form. Now that's one way to resize it. You can also over here, see how we have form one? You can also do some resizing uh, over here. You see where it says size? If I scroll down, I can expand that. Here's width, so I can change that to be 800. And I can change the height to be 600. And that'll change the size. So if you wanted exactly a certain size, you can come over here and change it. Or you can just uh, click and drag these and resize it that way. Now we uh, want our toolbox showing. And if I put my mouse over here, um, there's a toolbox. And if I click that, then you'll see this pop up. Now there's a pin button. And um, if I click this pin button, it'll pin it to the screen so it's always available. And that's what I want. Now for some reason, you, you close the toolbox and it isn't even over there. Well, you can come up here. And usually they're either under view or window. So I'll start with window. And I don't see it there. So I'm going to go to view. And I'm looking for a toolbox. Here's toolbox. It says you can also do Control W uh, X. So I'll choose toolbox, and then I'll pin it. Oops. This is already pinned. There we go. Now that's useful because um, uh, sometimes you close that by accident. Okay. Now this is our form. Now each item that we drop on our form is going to be a, a component that we can. Um, Manipulate in some way. For example, up here you see there's common controls. I'll expand that, and we have something called label. This is where you want to put a, um, a label like a text on your screen. Now, if I double click this, it'll throw a label there, and then I can click and drag, drag it wherever I want. Or you can come over here, and you click that and you drag it, and then you can drop drop it on the the form that way. Now, this right here, if I click this, if you double click it, let me go ahead and do that, it'll go into the code for it. You don't, we don't want to do that yet. So if you do that, you notice know, so up here is the tabs, it says form1.csdesign, just click the design to go back to here. So it's not a big deal. Okay, we got label 1 uh, selected, so let me come over here, and um, there's different ways you can view these. And I don't really like this uh, default setup for it. Um, but here's text, and that's under appearance. You can also click this button that says AZ, and it'll put in alphabetical order. And this is the way I like, because then I, I can very easily see them all in one big list, and I can down there to one I want. Okay, so for text, text, I'm going to come down here where it says label 1. And I'll say, um, this is my first GUI. And press enter and then you change see it changes the text on that now you can also you see there's a size involved here width and height may not be uh, what you want to change um, but there's also a font so if I scroll there I can choose a different font so I drew the drop down on that and choose uh, Joker man let's choose Joker man whatever that is and then the size 8.25, let me change that to 30. <laughs> That's an interesting font. My first GUI. Okay. 
And again, you can move this around to resize it. And um, then my second label here. Let me go down to it. So I click it one time, and then my settings change to that label. You can also do the drop down here to choose form one, label one, label two, whichever one you want. Now for label two, uh, let me go down to text. And I will say this is an example of a label. It's kind of small. So I might go up to the font. And that's why I said down here in the size, I say this may not do what you want. Because if you're looking at resizing it, this may, this may accomplish nothing. Let's see if it does. So if I change the height to 30, well, didn't do anything, did it? Let's put 30 in, puts it back to 13. Um, because it's based upon the font, font up here. So let me come up here and change this to 20. For example, the label. Now, label is purely just to show text on your screen. So that's all it is. If you want to um, uh, program a button to change something, um, well, here's a button. And again, if I double click that, it'll put a button on there. Now, you come over here. It's also got its own te text. Everything's text now. It used to be that there was uh, some other properties for changing, changing what it says. Click here. Now, I don't think that has a font. I may be uh, lying to you. If I come up here, eh, it says it has a font. Let's change this to 15. I guess it does. Now, notice I can't see all of it now. And this is where the you may want to come down here and change the size. But, even more than that, probably if I just come over here and resize it this way, that way I can change it to the size I want so I can see everything. Now, um, we also have a lot of different uh, items here. Um, text box. This is if you want the user to type in some uh, data. Like if you ask them to add two numbers. That's what text box is. Text box is. If I double click that, it'll put that on there. So we could, uh, if we ran this, we could type something in the box. Now, each one of these has got a name. And if I scroll clear to the dot top, the name has parentheses around it. Sometimes when you're when you're programming, you want to change the name of it. You don't want it to say text box one. So what you do is you'll say TB underscore, and then I'll call it num1, for example. That would be my first number. Now, the TB refers to text box, and then underscore. And the book goes over all the different... Um, what can't you name these? Uh, can't start with numbers, the use of spaces, and so forth. So we're not going to go that over that here. Okay. Some things it doesn't make sense to name. If I'm not going to actually program uh, this, put anything behind this label, might as well leave it as label one. But if I'm going to change what that says at pr the programming time, then I'm going to give it a name. And again, I'd recommend uh, TB underscore for text box label. Maybe LB. Uh, something to tell you it's a label. It does make your programming easier if you know what kind of component you're working with. You can see this monthly calendar. Um, link label. We'll go over a lot of these uh, as the semester progresses. Um, but now if I ran this, I come up here, do a debug, start debugging. Let's see what that looks like. Now pop up here with our program, and I could type some something in here. I could click this button; it doesn't do anything yet. Um, but that's our that's our first GUI. Now in the second um, second video that we'll take a look at, we'll add we'll add some code to a GUI and have it actually do something. Um, but this was just an example of how to manipulate the different. Um, different properties over here and how to add add components